Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to the video for what is was recently rendered. Let's go ahead and run through our example, and we'll show it how it works. On the left, I have an output every frame of if the item I'm checking for was recently rendered, or basically, was it actually within the view frustrum of my camera and part of the scene. I'll move to the right, and we'll see the item, and we'll see it turn to true. Now, this is the item that I'm checking for. It's this cube here. Now, there are a couple things to note, and we'll go ahead and cover them when we look at the note itself. But if you notice, if I turn it to the right some more, and I don't actually see this cube, it's still showing true. And it's showing true for a specific reason. I'll cover that in a second. So let's look at the note. Let's find the note. There we go. Here's the note. Was recently rendered. We'll type in was recently rendered. Now it is context sensitive, but for the most part, it's going to work fine. The target is an actor, and most of the time you're going to pull this up in an actor. But if not, it is context sensitive and it requires an actor for the input. Now it's gonna check the entire actor. It's gonna check if any part of that actor is rendered or not. So if you have multiple items inside of this actor, maybe a plane and it has the middle of the body and the propellers and the wings and they're all part of an actor, it's gonna check the entire thing, not just the central component part. The secondary option is a tolerance. Basically, how many seconds ago was this actor's last render time that could still be counted as recently rendered. And the default is 0.2. And I'll show you how this works here in a second. Let's go ahead and go back to my example and understand now why it was showing me true even though we couldn't see the cube. Well, rendering does not just include the cube itself in terms of the stack mesh. It does also include things like its shadow. If I uncheck cast shadow, well now we're going to see false. If I move back to my left, we'll see true again. And you'll see true and false as we move the item in and out of our view frustrum. We turn shadow back on. Let's go back to false actually. So we can't see the cube. We'll turn shadow back on. And now it's going to go back to true because we can now see the shadow. So keep that in mind. Anything that's rendered for this actor that includes the shadows will be counted as was recently rendered. Let's go ahead and go back to here, and let's look at our tolerance. Now let's set it up to a high amount, like three. Now this tolerance is only going to affect the false portion of the was recently rendered. And I'll show you what I mean by that. Let's look at the cube, and we can see true. Now if I was to look away over here, we'll still see true. Three seconds later, it'll change to false. Now, three seconds later, when I look at it, it's not going to immediate, it's not going to turn to true. It's going to turn to true immediately as it comes into view. Right there, we look away. Three seconds later, it goes to false. So that's what I mean by it only affects the false. If it was recently rendered, as in, can we see it? Boom. It's immediately going to turn true. When we look away and it's no longer within our view, it's going to turn to false eventually. Keep in mind, if you were to do something like this, wait two seconds, look back wait two seconds, look back, it's going to keep resetting itself. It's basically once you get it out of your view, that timer starts counting down, and as long as it's within your time you've set here, your tolerance, it's going to keep being counted as was recently rendered. Now something like that's nice if you want to know if you should do calculations on something. It might be a little computationally expensive, but you could technically put something to sleep by using the was recently rendered. For example, if I had this item, um, let's try doing this just to see if it works. Let's go to our recently rendered actor. Actually, let's go into our character here. Yeah, let's close this, let's go into our character and let's uncheck the tick. That way we no longer tick. We'll go into our rendering actor. This is the cube we were looking at. Let's go to its tick. Let's go with was recently Rendered, rendered, uncheck context sensitivity, and here we go, was recently rendered, and the target is going to be itself. We'll go ahead and save that, and we'll do an if branch here, plug it in, and we'll do something like, annoy the player, print string, oh, um, 
I can see you. Now, that's kind of silly because technically you'd want it kind of the other direction, but this is more of why not? So we'll go ahead and hit play. We'll go over here. And unfortunately these things stay up a little bit. Eh, let's let's get rid of the time. You know what? This is all about fun. Let's take our duration down to 0.2 seconds. So the duration of these strings on the screen are going to be very short. We'll go here and as you can see, I can see you. We'll look away and they should just, oh, I can see the shadow. So no, there we go. So this is maybe of something that's computationally expensive, maybe of a special effect that you only want to happen when we can see the item on the screen. You could use this node in order to give a little bit of performance. Basically, this item's not on the screen. I don't need fancy fireworks. I don't need the character maybe looking at my player. I don't need anything special going on. Maybe I want to put it to sleep. So I could use that. And by using the tolerance, I could have it where it only goes to sleep after maybe one or two seconds of no longer seeing the player or the player no longer seeing this item. So that's a use for was recently rendered. And that's going to wrap up the node. Takes in an actor. Takes in a tolerance, which is how long until it can no longer be considered recently rendered. And it outputs a true or a false.